What is up guys? It is Angel coming back at you with another awesome review. Man, oh man, I know it has been a while and I want to apologize guys. I have been busy with work and moving around in my life and just doing a bunch of things that we as adults must do, unfortunately. Not gonna lie, there's no nice way to put it. Figures are expensive. They are being catered to adults. It doesn't seem like they're being catered to kids anymore, at least the action figures. And um, yeah, these $20, $30, $50 price tags, you know, they're, they're not um, sustainable unless I have a lot of money, which I don't. So I, I've just been, you know, not collecting. I've been downsizing, I've been selling things and I'm just trying to get the figures I really want only. And also, I just haven't had time to make a proper video. But um, let's pull out what we got. And I am pretty, actually very excited about this. We have the McFarlane Collector's Edition Platinum Hawkman. And this guy is glorious. I definitely think the original version looks way better. But I do really want a classic Hawkman. So I am happy to have this guy. And i um, very lucky to find this in my local store. So uh, yeah, let's get up close and personal. Here's the box. We got the right side of the box with the, all that stuff. Picture, very beautiful picture. Hawkman again. And uh, yeah, here he is. Anyways, you know the drill. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, guys, so we have the McFarlane Platinum Edition Hawkman all out of the package looking glorious. This is a rather unfortunate situation because this is the OG classic Hawkman we've all been waiting for, and he's a Platinum Edition. He's a chase. You have to find him, you have to put in work, you have to enter raffles, or you might have to pay over retail on eBay because somebody wants to resell it for triple, quadruple the price. So that is unfortunate, but I think on the other hand, don't hold your breath guys, because McFarlane's gonna take this opportunity and make a, a better version of the classic Hawkman. I mean, we all know that's gonna happen. It's just, it sucks that we have to wait still, but I think this guy is pretty, pretty cool. It sucks that the original version of this character, or at least this action figure has chest hair. So I don't know why they chose to not give him the chest hair, Maybe it's a budget thing, but I don't really notice it that much. It just sucks because his chest is all textured. You can see this better in the close up. And it just kind of looks like he was a burnt victim or he got into some fights and now he has a bunch of scarring. Maybe some veins, I guess you could say. He has some nice veiny muscles and then his head sculpt is freaking fantastic. Look at that. That is great. His wings have some paint on them, which is awesome. I love his mace, by the way. Nice silver color. And then, yeah, all around the figure is pretty sweet. He isn't the 100% accurate version of Hawkman, though. Hawkman does not have these gauntlets, or I don't think he has these gloves either. And he doesn't have this long hair. 
so you know guys don't get too upset this isn't the best i mean interpretation of hawkman but it's definitely a nice one and then yeah accessories he comes with this awesome mace and this card and this stand and i understand mcfarland wants to make it feel premium here's the bio by the way but I would rather get a comic book because there are kids. When I started collecting figures, I was about 13 and I didn't know who any of these characters were, but these comic books help us get a better, what's the word, emotional connection. Like these bios are cool, but like these these kids aren't gonna read these. I mean, neither, neither as adult collectors, I don't really care for these cards. I mean, unless you collect cards, but I don't really care for them. And then obviously it comes with a standard stand. But um, yeah, enough of the jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and see what the articulation is about. Go ahead and take them off the stand. So McFarlane has definitely been doing a better job with the articulation. The head looks up pretty okay. I mean, the hair definitely blocks it. Leans side to side fairly well. I mean, he's got a big hawk mask on. Looks down really well. He can crunch forward like nothing and then lean back very much. I don't know why they have that all backwards. Like why Why would he lean back more than he leans forward? That, that doesn't make sense to me. But um, the wings, they do move because they are on this nice ball joint. You can play around with them and they click in fairly easy. I wish they had an extra like hinge right here so you can angle them upwards or kind of close them down. But um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. He's got the butterfly joint in the shoulder, so he reaches across very well. And then, you know, rotation at the shoulder, double joint and elbows, rotation at the wrist. It is on that ball joint McFarlane likes to use, so it can go forward and back and rotate. And then, you know, the joints on McFarlane figures can be stiff. They're a little bit stiff. And then it has this diaphragm joint, which is kind of useless. I don't really feel anything. I mean, I guess he can lean back more. And then look at the butterfly. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Look at the butterfly joint. If you go back far enough, you can see inside of it. So that's kind of janky. But like I said, this is the best Hawkman we have right now. So I'm sure in the future we'll get a much either better or just a, a different side to side. It's very side to side is fairly well and then legs go up pretty decent yeah side goes up pretty nice as well and then double jointed um pinned knee joint and then forward and back on the what is this ankle rotation at the ankle or rocker and then i love how they include these toe joints and yeah, I mean, he moves fairly well and I think you can get him into some pretty cool poses. It's just the joints are stiff, you know. So, pretty fun. I definitely think he's fun. Let's go ahead and get him posed up with some other figures and you can see what he looks like in your display. All right, guys, so here we have a bunch of figures. We have the NECA Feral Predator, probably one of my favorite figures this year so far. We have the Marvel Legends SDCC Deadpool, SDCC Nightfall Batman, Platinum Superman, uh, Marvel Legends Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, NECA, uh, NECA Mirage Turtle. We just have a little bit of diversity here. That way you can see what he looks like in your display. I don't know what you guys collect, but I collect what I like. So we have a little bit of everything I like and I think he looks fantastic. He definitely stands tall, but to be fair, I have him on this little stand right there, but he looks great. And if you have one of these bad boys, which I don't know why they didn't, they did not include, because this is a perfect opportunity then you can get him in a flight pose. So yeah, that's gonna look great if you have one of those stands, which that stand came with this guy right here. So yeah, he looks great and um, 
yeah all right guys so my final verdict is this guy is pretty awesome i wish he had more paint like on his chest and that would probably help my rating a little bit more because it just feels underpainted and i do think the other version the original action figure for this guy is better i'm not gonna lie i do want a classic hawkman so i immediately grabbed this when i saw it and i am happy to have it but i don't think this is better than the original one so hopefully that makes you feel a tad bit better but i think he is pretty cool and i think mcfarland did a decent job at a hawkman figure and in the future, I hope we get a better original version of Hawkman because this isn't all 100% comic accurate. So I think my rating, and this is obviously my personal opinion, I think this guy is a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. I give it a good B plus or like an A minus. I think this is a great addition to your DC collection, but it just sucks that it's a chase and you have to work hard to find it. And I don't think it's fair to the rest of us collectors. Anyways guys, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. I try to upload these videos when I can. At this point, it's kind of random. I've been working and things are expensive, so I hope I can upload videos a little bit more frequently than I have been, but I've been trying to just stick with the shorts because they're easy and fast, but um, I'll do long videos when I have a chance. Anyways, thank you guys. Peace out. Have an amazing day.